Zombie Apocalypse. <lacht> What's up guys, it's Page Man here and I am back with another video. Today guys, I'm going to talk about the point attack rushing game mode in Mad Molo 24. So we had this in Mad Molo 23, but I do want to talk about some tips with point attack rushing here because it is slightly more difficult compared to Mad Molo 23. The overalls of our players are now lower. Therefore, you can't just run past the defender however you want this time and simply split defenders that easily. And they took away the force close element for the most part from point attack rushing. So the scores here on the leaderboard are very, very fair. We have 2.9k as the highest point scored. And right now, I do have 1.6k after the first day of point attack rushing. So I do want to go through and do a live attempt and talk about point attack rushing. Maybe for those who are newer to it and those returning, some tips you guys can use to get the highest score possible. So before we get started, the goal is obviously to score a touchdown on every play. Try to avoid the minus five second zones, obviously avoid the defenders, but also don't try to go too crazy going for the plus point zones. Try to get the touchdown first. because I'm telling you when it comes to this right here, your first priority should be to score a touchdown and you don't want to risk going for like a plus 15 points if it's going to get you tackled on the play. So I will do a live attempt here and see how it goes. Now, the biggest tip I can give you is try to bounce it to the outside when you can. But then on plays like this, like fullback dive, they're not going to let you do it that easily. Bouncing to the outside, because obviously it is fullback dive play right here. You can go to the outside much easier. And it does take some stick work when it comes to playing this. Once again, a fullback dive. We are forced to go up the middle, take some stick work there. These right here are all Madden Max players, right? My Bo Jackson is a foiled level 10, 111 overall, basically the same overall as the base Miles Sanders from first snap. So obviously a pretty good card and one of the best running backs you can have, but still obviously you can't simply run past guys. Here's our third fullback dive already. And that one actually caught us sleeping. So there we go. 505 points overall, not doing too great, but you have to have some stick work when playing this because obviously you do not have an extremely fast running back anymore. These players are lower overall. You got to snap as soon as you can and see right there bouncing to the outside. It is difficult. And right there, I use the impact button. That is also a great tip. Use the impact button wherever you can when playing this mode here because of the fact you may not always be able to outrun guys. So having that button could help you out right there. Broke two tackles, but I did get minus five seconds after wasting that time. So it is not that easy to get a high score that it was in Mad Mobile 23. So just keep on grinding it. You get better as you play. The only way to get better at it is keep on playing it. And I hope I can increase my score here pretty soon. 1.1K, so definitely not gonna beat my score on this particular attempt, but you guys can see how point attack rushing has kind of changed with our players being a lower overall. Again, clock is always running. Snap it right away. Do not waste time. Get as many points as possible. And we are going to wrap up with 1.2k points on our live attempt. So you guys saw a live attempt from point attack rushing right there. My top tips, of course, snap the ball right away. Try to bounce to the outside if you can. Create space between you and those defenders. It definitely takes some stick work when your players are slower like right now. I do want to have a video like this for point attack passing and also the point attack kicking with the field goals. When that eventually comes out and maybe more down the road if they add more point attacks. If there is one thing I would wish that EA would potentially change about point attack rushing, it's the fact that there is a running clock. It's in point attack passing. You have time to choose your place. The clock stops anytime you complete a pass or score a touchdown. So when it comes to point attack rushing, I wish they would do the same exact thing because fullback dive, when there is a minus five second zone staring you right in the face in the middle, right there in the middle of the field, that is not a great sight because you're forced to bounce that play to the outside and fullback dive is not the play for that. So yeah, guys, that's going to be it for my tips on point attack rushing in the game mode as a whole. Let me know what your best score so far is in point attack rushing between yesterday and today. It runs throughout the weekend and Monday morning. Point attack rushing will come down and you will get your various rewards for where you place. But yeah, guys, that's going to be it for this one. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. 
and I'll catch you guys in the next video.